Well, the Orange shake things up on the heels of their most embarrassing loss of the season. Good evening. I'm Matt Hosworth. Now, listen, you cannot give up 58 points to a rival at home and think everything's going to be okay. Dino Babers was put in a really uncomfortable situation, and he made a decision regarding one of the coaches on his staff. Defensive coordinator Brian Ward has been dismissed from the program after back-to-back Horrific outings by that orange defense. Now, Ward was entering a season where he was being praised for the defense's prowess following a terrific 2018 campaign, but it's quite astonishing how things can change in just the matter of a few games, right? Defensive ends coach Steve Stannard will take over as D coordinator on an interim basis. Syracuse University released a statement just after 3.30 today informing us on the decision to fire Brian Ward. Coach Dino Baber says, quote, I want to thank Coach Ward for everything he's done for Syracuse University and this football team. However, I felt a change needed to be made at this time to give us the best opportunity for success moving forward. He goes on to say, Coach Steve Standard is an experienced defensive coordinator, defensive coach that is. He's been here for three years now and understands the culture of our program. I'm confident in his ability to lead that side of the ball, unquote. Now the defense has not been the sole reason for Syracuse's struggles this season. But over the last two games, it has been a huge disappointment. They're allowing 30 points per game as a unit throughout the whole season. And these numbers given up to BC are just not acceptable, flat out. 691 total yards to go with 242 courtesy of one guy, A.J. Dillon. Coach Babers discussed his defense after yesterday's game. You know, they're one of the strengths of our team, so our strength against their strength. And in their offense, running the ball is really, really good. Those deep balls down the field obviously did not help because that, even though they were one-dimensional, it kind of made them two-dimensional by having deep touchdown passes. We are what we are, and we win as a team and we lose as a team. That is a good way to put it. So some of you might be wondering who on earth Steve Stannard is. Well, he's been coaching for 32 years, not to mention it's his third season with the Orange, specializing with the defensive end position. This is the most important on this list. He's been a defensive coordinator at seven other schools, most recently at Wyoming in 2016. We'll see how it shakes out for the remainder of the regular season. Only three games left, believe it or not.